Um, I have had a series of phone calls from a guy named Daniel Smith who apparently, I don't know, wants me to call him back. But every time I call him back, it gives a voicemail. He never actually, you know, I actually never talk together. And he's heard my voicemail. He knows what it says. And I think he's trying to get me to work for him or get or trained to do a job that I'm not going to be interested in doing. Because I worked for years. I have a certificate from digital media at Santa Monica College. I spent years training in Final Cut and Avid and Premiere Pro and Illustrator, only to find out I'm not allowed to do those things because apparently I need to know that I'm not an artist and not gifted. I'm not. Because my mommy and daddy say so. Because maybe people from my own college who are Republican GOP assholes want to say it, tell everyone, Laura's not talented. She's supposed to be a librarian. She's supposed to have no, she has no brain whatsoever. She, her brain is supposed to be quieted and silent because she has a vagina. I'm not allowed to express myself. I'm not allowed to be seen as an intelligent woman. I'm not allowed to be seen as a capable person. I'm not allowed to see as being an entirely smart person. It really makes me angry is the fact that I have useful information and I'm being silenced because people don't want to know that I'm a good person. They don't want to know that I want to help other people. They don't want to know. I mean, I get to choose how I help people. I think I'm actually being silenced because I don't believe in the Bible anymore. Because I don't believe in God. And I'm sorry, but guess what? As far as I'm concerned, God has made my life miserable. Because when I was happy, I loved myself. I liked life. And now I don't. And it's not going to change if you don't let me do what I want to do with my life and let me have the freedom to be who I want to be. I wanted to be a working actor. And if you were to tell me years ago that I couldn't be an actor, I would have committed suicide. If you had told me years ago when I had cancer, you will never be an actor, I would have let the cancer kill me. I do not want to be the person. My parents had fucked each other and made me. I do not want them as my parents. I don't want them in my life. I don't want them ruling over my existence. I don't want to be them. I don't want to turn into them. I don't want to pray to their God. I don't want to go to their church. I don't want to play po po practice in their politics. I am not a geo-republican. -Repub I'm a woman who likes things that are international. I like the UK. I don't necessarily like Bread X, but I like the UK. I like Sherlock Holmes. I like Shakespeare. I think Sherlock Holmes was a feminist despite the fact that there are a lot of misogyny in the Sherlock Holmes community. And this guy, Daniel Smith, who's been calling me, I called him back. He's called me multiple times, I think five. It needs to stop. Because you see, here's the thing. I work for the census. Next thing I know, I'm being signed up for job fairs that I don't want to go to because I have no interest in politics, no interest in government, no interest in working in government, no interest in working in law, no interest in being in the, in the government system whatsoever. I don't want to run for office. I never did. I would rather read a book. I would rather be writing a movie. I would rather be living in my fantasy world and my fiction. I would rather be writing poetry. I felt safer there. And instead, I feel traumatized. I feel like I'm not allowed to be me. And I'm starting to talk to myself because I have no one to talk to about what's important to me. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to talk about government. I want to hang out with a guy who wears a suit and works in an office. I was artistic hope going out writing articles and I was connecting to people in the art community because that's where I felt safe. You don't want me being a journalist in the arts community. You don't want me being a journalist in the entertainment industry or, for that matter, be a journalist and be an actor and be all of it. Then you want me to be dead because you've taken away every reason I beat cancer and you've taken away my joy. You want me to be a liar? You claim I'm a liar. No, I'm not. I never wanted to turn into my father. I was a gifted and talented social studies student, but did anybody ever, but my teachers chose that for me. I didn't choose that. I never wanted to be a politician. You make the presumption that because I was a gifted and talented social studies student in high school that I was going to turn into a lawyer or a politician. I went to law school, but the only area of law I was ever interested in was the entertainment industry. If I can't work in the entertainment industry, I don't care about criminal law. I don't care about trusts and wills. I don't care about billable hours. I don't care about working in a law firm. I'd rather play a lawyer on television than be one. I'd rather work for a TV show about a law practice than actually be in a law practice. I resigned from the California bar. Yes, I went to law school. Yes, I can say I'm a lawyer. I can't say I'm an attorney. This whole mess is ridiculous. I wasn't crazy. I knew what I was capable of and I knew what I loved. And I would have made it as an actor because there were people in this town I think who would have cast me. There were people in this town who would have believed in me. There were people in this town who loved me. Despite the fact that I wasn't hot, sexy, and blonde. And instead, I had the best years of my life taken as a woman. I have been isolated. I have been ostracized. I have been forced to 
I don't leave my apartment now for days. Because I don't like people anymore if I can't say I'm an actor. I don't like being alive anymore if I can't say I'm an actor. And I don't care about being fucking successful in politics or law. I don't care about being rich. I only cared about being an artist. Because I needed to have a voice. I needed to be allowed to express myself. I need to be able to have feelings and actually show them and tell the world, this is how I feel. Otherwise, I don't want the job. I am not a mindless drone who just wants to make a fucking paycheck. So Daniel Smith, fuck off and leave me alone for the last time. I would kill myself before I train to be whatever you want me to be. <laughs> that was awesome. That was such an awesome voice, man. Huh? If you get to know you. Hey there, this is Daniel Smith calling from Go One. Was hoping to just set up a quick chat about employee training and e learning. Uh, no need to give me a call back. I just sent it to an email. So would love to hear back from you in that way. Anyways, have a great one. Thanks. Bye bye. <clears throat> this is my the message that I on my voicemail. Like you call my voicemail number. This is the, what the message that you get, which I had to put on my voicemail because I was sick and got getting calls saying that I'm Shondaland when I'm not. Hi, this is Laurie and Toll, not Shondaland. So stop calling me because frankly, I was molested by Jeremy Gilbert. Jordan Marks wanted to sleep with me. I do not have herpes. I do not have an STD. I was a Democrat, so I'm seriously considering leaving the Democratic Party simply because I do not want to be forced to be a Protestant wasp because I never was. I've converted to Catholicism, and now I'm a secular atheist Buddhist. Stress that, atheist Buddhist. I'm a free thinker. You have no right to make me be the person you want me to be, and I do not need your ideas because, frankly, I have enough ideas of my own. I am not a member of the GOP. I never will be a member of the GOP. I'm just a little irked to the Democratic Party here in California because, one, they've been making racial comments. The city, Just the stuff that happened with LA City recently. Two, um, a guy named by the name of Michael Fleur, closed all the casting agencies here in town, making it almost impossible for people like me to become an actor who are not known. It's like they did the opposite of what they should have done, um, making the presumption that these casting workshops were taking advantage of people in reality is SAG after one of them shut down to be able to control who gets to be an actor and who doesn't. And um, as a SAG after member, they've been preventing me from taking free workshops. I had to, I spent money to study with a teacher here in California who, by the way, now only works for ABC Disney, the company that will not hire me, which is just great. And um, so I'm really angry at everybody because acting is what my passion was and what I loved. And I wanted to be good at acting. I wanted to keep working to be good at acting. I don't care about being good at being someone's secretary, someone's assistant, or someone's doormat. Guess what, Laura? I guess, oh, fudge. I mean, I'm talking to myself. I'm going losing my mind because of this. I feel like I'm not allowed to be my own person and have my own identity and define who I am as a person. I'm required to be whoever it is my parents want me to be. I'm not going to be the person my parents want me to be. I'm not going to ever vote GOP Republican. I am certainly never, ever going to want to work in politics or government or law ever again. I was a theater major in college. Will you people get accept that fact? Oh, wait, let me guess. It was a waste of my time, right? It was a Jewish woman on TikTok who said, basically said that. In order for me to have a family, I wasted my time getting a master's in performing arts. Well, you know what? I wouldn't want to have a family if I couldn't be an actor and an artist. Because I wouldn't want to be in a household where I wasn't allowed to laugh, cry, show emotions, be creative, have a rich inner dialogue or rich inner, inner functioning fantasy life. I don't think it's healthy to close off the mind. And I think what's doing, what people are doing to me are trying to define who I am, scrunch my brain into a box. I'm not allowed to be a creative because my, apparently my, my ability to write poetry, to come up with stories, to come up with characters that don't exist, that's a sign that I'm a schizophrenic instead of just being a talented, gifted woman. Because the people doing this to me have zero talent, zero creativity, and are jealous of the fact that I have that kind of brain. Hey there, this is Daniel Smith calling from Go One. Just give me a call back at 801-707-4710 if you get the chance, or shoot me an email at danny.smith at go1.com. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hello, this is Elvis. Thank you for calling. Please leave your message and I'll be in touch with you as soon as possible. Have a great day. As a note, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Stop calling me 
And since you've called me several times, you've obviously heard my message that says, I am Laura Ann Tull. I'm also a girl with a theater degree and a master's in performing arts management, and I don't know why the fuck you're calling me, because I'm probably not going to be interested in anything you have to offer. I'm not a computer geek. I don't care about learning about learning to be a computer geek. I don't want to work in education. I don't want to be a fucking teacher. I hate education at this point, because I got an education I'm not allowed to fucking use. I'm sorry to be rude to you, but as an older woman who has had it with about America right now, your fascism, your manipulation, I was happy working in film and television sets. I wanted to be a fucking actress. That's why I came to California. That is why I beat cancer. Without acting, I fucking hate life. I do not want to sit at home doing some boring-ass, dull fucking job that is redeeming to me, that is demoralizing to me. When I had a law degree, a theater degree, and a master's in performing arts management, I don't want to sit at home wasting hours of my energy and time at a job that makes me feel redundant. And I don't want to train to do something redundant, something I could have fucking done when I was in high school. I have a literary creative mind that wants to write fucking scripts. And I'm not doing that for my fucking hobby while I spend 40 hours a week training to do something that's mundane, repetitive, and absolutely positively makes me feel like I'm just a doormat. So unless you have a creative job that gets to use my acting career, my also editing, I got a, 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 a digital certificate in digital media. I know how to use Photoshop. I know how to use Avid. But apparently because I have a fucking vagina and I'm over 35, I am not allowed to change careers into something that's awesome and cool and makes me feel like I'm important. I need to be reduced to doing something, again, I could have done when I was in fucking high school. Something mundane, something boring, something dull. Something that doesn't make me feel like I'm important, and better yet, something that doesn't put me in the fucking papers, because you all make me want to disappear. A guy who shoved his finger up inside my vagina, got to build a career as a, as a crew person, I would fucking rather go back to being a fucking background artist than do whatever it is you want me to do. I did not ask you to call me, and I am recording this message. Stop harassing me. Stop fucking calling me. I do not want to talk to you. I don't want anything you have to sell or offer. I don't want training from you so I can get some stupid, dumb job when I have a certificate from, from Santa Monica College as a digital media artist, and I can edit film and footage, and that's what I fucking wanted to do. So fuck America for its ra racism. Fuck America for its sexism. Fuck America for its degradation of women like me. I'm straight. I wanted children, but I don't give a shit about the next generation if they don't care about my generation. I do not want to fucking have anything to do with education. Hello? Hey, is this Jessica? You are not calling Jessica, and you know that because you could listen to my voice. My message just says, I'm Laura Ann Toll, and I just left you a scalding message. Stop harassing me. Stop calling me. Leave me the fuck alone. Phone number and a brief message, and I will contact you as soon as I can. Daniel Smith, please call, stop calling Laura Ann Tull. That's me. Stop calling me. Stop harassing me. Leave me the fuck alone. I am not changing my phone number for whatever reason, because for security reasons, I'm keeping this fucking number. So stop harassing me. You, Shonda Rhimes, all these fucking games, cut it out. All right? I am a Phi Beta Kappa Maryland Distinguished Scholar from Maryland who has a law degree from Catholic Law School went to American University and has a, degree, a college degree from McDaniel College. I was had an interview at Yale. I am sick with an autoimmune disease. I've got, I am not the kind of person who cheats on tests, lies, steals, manipulates. I'm anti-sex work. I'm not a fucking Scientologist. But I came to California for acting because I have a theater degree and a master's in performing arts management, and I'm not interested in using those skills to shell shit or whatever reason you're calling me. Leave me the fuck alone. I am not fucking interested. I don't need training in anything. Got it? Fuck off. And a brief message, and I will contact Holy shit. you as soon as I can. Stop calling me. And stop calling me on any phone numbers, period. If you're trying to get my real cell phone number with this, California and the Constitution says I have the right to privacy. I am sick and tired of these fucking games. Leave me the fuck alone. I have recorded every single call. I'm going to take all of them, mash them all together into a video, and publish them on YouTube. How's that, Mr. Smith? Because I want you fired from your job if you don't fucking leave me alone. 